hello guys good evening good morning good afternoon anytime you're watching this video good day today i'll be showing you how to create this editable pixel lab using your editable text effect sorry using your pixel lab you can see that everything on this place is editable it's quite simple it's quite simple it's not complex so i'll be offering everything you're seeing and let me delete the text and leave only the background so i'll be deleting every down thing that you're seeing here so the background is um is a gradient a gradient of dark blue and light blue but let me show you the color code also in case you want to use it so for the first color sorry for the first color this is the color code for the first color then for the second color this is the color code so you can write it down if in case you intend to recreate this video or work on it which i will love you to do so so first thing we'll be working with first stage of this process now is to enter your text enter your text then the second stage is to increase your size take it to 240 then the next one is to what centralize it come to your paddling your paddling is to bring out the edges of your text if you're observing some text or some fonts that you're using if you if you use it you observe that some of the part of part of the font are being cut off so what you do now you paddle it out the second thing you do now is to select your font okay let me just re enter this and because i've used the font already so this is the font i'm using this is the guy i'm using so you can just go download it there if you don't know how to download check in my um check in my video playlist you will see a tutorial on how to download and also on how to extract fonts and add it so next thing you do now is to go to your shadow okay first thing first is to change the color which the color will be a gradient enter your gradient tap on your plus sign so this is the surface you're going to see so this side now will be white pure white then this side now this other side of the surface will be will be using a color code to get the color that we need so the color code is b5 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 then when you're done you tap here the color the color will automatically come out they call tap your okay tap your okay so this is the color this is the color then the next thing you are going to do now is to add our stroke our stroke just enable it leave it at two take it to two are you seeing then the next thing now is to put to add color to our stroke which we'll be using a color code for the color the color code is f1 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 so that's pure white i get him so the next thing now is to add your shadow add your shadow reduce the opacity to 50 opacity to 50 reduce the bro sorry blur radius to two then the next thing is to take your offset x to minus three then offset y to six take it to six are you seeing the gradual change that we are seeing one important thing you should note is to make sure your text is being centralized then the next thing is to go to your 3d go to your 3d enable your 3d you see that our 3d looks somehow broken 
So all you do now go to your oblique, oblique. Then for you to disable that broken edges that you're seeing now, you need to disable this. Please. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, we'll be using that place already, so no need of disabling that place. So your oblique now you take it to two to five. That's your oblique angle. Take it to what two to five. Two to five. Okay, just leave it that way. Then your light angle now take it to one zero five. This is your light angle. Take it to 105. Then your shadow now take it to reduce this is your shadow. Reduce it to 20. Then now go to up. Go to the upside now. Then your depth now should be 4. Reduce your depth. Make your depth to be 4. For now, just leave it like this. We'll be coming back to work on it later. But for now, just leave it this way. So we are done for the first layer this is this is a two layer editable text effect so now you copy it then increase this one and this one you just copied now increase the size by two we have 240 so make it to be 242 are you getting me then i want you to now go and enable it sorry go and make it bold tap on your style tap on your b to make it bold then your stroke now take your stroke to 13 increase the stroke of the second layer to 13 now what you do now you centralize it first okay, let me take it here you see it. so now change the color we'll be using a gradient so and we'll be using a code a color code so the first color which is this one the first color code is FF FF B2 zero, 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 zero. Tap your good Tap your OK Are you seeing that we've generated our color Then the second color code is Second color code Please take notes Second color code is FF FF nine eight zero one. Then tap when you're when you're done now. You tap on here. Tap here. The color will come out. This is the color. Color will come out. Then you tap your OK. I'm just taking time so that you guys can also learn so that you won't miss any any part of this process so what you do now go to your stroke then use same gradients for your stroke same gradients for what your stroke then what you do now you bring it down to back tap on to back the text will go back automatically then you lock it then this upper one now adjust it with your hand a little bit but before you adjust it, we need to do some an amendment on it. So go back to your 3D, reduce the depth to two. Are you guys see? Then now what you do now use your hand and adjust it the way you want it to be. Or you can use your use your positions. You can actually work with your position based on what you want and based on how you want it. Are you seeing? So let me save it as okay changes okay then what you do now is go to your let me save it as project first let me save it in case anything comes up along the line because sometimes pixel have my functions so all you do now go to your depth that's you're working with the yellow one now go to your depth go to your 3d then take your depth so far to five which I will, there won't be any need for that but in case you want to increase it you increase it but i would love to increase it i will leave it the way it is leave it at four then your shadow opacity take it to 60. 
take it to what 60. Shadow opacity, take it to what 60. Then your blur radius, take it to 5. Then your offset Y, take it to offset Y, take it to 3, which is already at 3. So, guys, this is how we created that text effect. So, please kindly subscribe if this is your first time of coming to Trendy Wood Channel. See you guys in my next video.